what I weighed in the beginning of the day. Needless to say, I'm what you call a hard gainer and your boy finally crossed the 200 pound mark and it was a long road, boys. But honestly, this is what I looked like before. I, I used to, I used to, I'm 6'2", I was weighing about 158, 160 pounds. I was literally a walking stick. All of that started to change once I started adding one more meal a day. Everyone that complains about being a hard gainer is not only a hard gainer, they're just not eating enough. That includes myself, by the way, because I didn't get it. I felt like I was eating enough and I always feel full, like I couldn't eat more. And the thing is that when you are a hard gainer, you're going to eat past that natural limit that your stomach is telling you like, yo, you're full, stop eating. You're going to eat past that. And it's just a little bit. You need to eat substantially more. And what I did is I added a whole other meal. And if that wasn't enough, then I added a whole other meal on top of that. It was to a point that I was eating close to 5,000 calories a day just to be able to put on that one to two pounds of weight per week. It takes me to number two, lift heavy weights. See, I love your basic five by five structure. In other words, five sets of five reps each, keeping the reps low in the weight as much as possible, and then progressively overloading or trying to every week on those key compound movements. That's been my general training regime. Now, while you have heard the low weight, high reps will make you thin and high weight, low reps will make you thick, a combination of both will help muscle activation. However, anecdotally for my body type, I saw my body react best under heavy weight. I mean, for God's sakes, this was me about a couple years ago, three, four years ago. This is me deadlifting, bro. This is me. Look at those chicken legs. Bro. There was nothing there. This is me today, right? I have added a considerable amount of weight to all of my lifts and, and consequently, I have been able to add a considerable size or mass onto my frame as that weight progressively overloaded over the years. Again, easy breakdown. On the left, I think I was like a buck 60. I was squatting five by five, barely 185 pounds here, struggling. Now I'll do a 385 five by five and just look at the girth on the tree trunks, bro. They're tree trunks for me. Three, increase liquid calories. See, this is the reverse advice I would give to somebody that's trying to lose weight. I'm gonna give you the reverse advice to you because this is what I did myself. See, when you get to a point that you're eating so much, it really is uncomfortable. You're gonna eat past that level of comfort it feels like you're gonna throw up at the end of the night. I'm telling you how, at what point you're gonna start gaining weight. If you don't feel like you're a hard gainer, chances are you're not eating enough. The easiest way to pack down calories is by drinking them. This could be your juices, your smoothies, your shakes. Those three things, shakes can get up to a thousand calories if you pack them right. Drinking your calories is the easiest way to add that surplus that you need throughout the day so you don't have to do it with just solids. Which rolls me to number four, Prioritize sleep. You're gonna need it, especially not only to process all that food you're packing in your body, but also to grow. When you're training, as you sleep, your body recuperates and releases a hormone called HGH or the human growth hormone, which is what you need to start packing on that mass that you're looking for. But still eat clean. See, back 2018 or 2017 or 2018, when I started doing my bulking process, I documented the entire thing. You can go back and watch most of those. They're somewhat outdated, but what you're going to see is that I still ate clean. In other words, I don't recommend dirty bulking. While yes, calories in, calories out matter, when it comes to the health of your body, the type of calories matter as well. In other words, the processed carbs, the empty sugars or the refined sugars, I would try to still minimize that and most of my excess calories were just more cups of rice, more sweet potatoes, more chicken breast. I mean, my plates were absurdly massive, but I did so and I added the surplus of calories with clean calories. In other words, clean food. So not only was I trying to keep my fats as low as possible to not gain as much fat and restructure my body as I gained weight, I also was trying to look out for my personal health to not pack in all that garbage food that would damage me down the road. And finally, number six, be constant, bro. Patience is key when you're a hard gainer and you're gonna end up bulking for longer periods of time. I'm gonna be honest with you. Since 2017, I have been in a never ending bulk. In other words, I've never dieted to cut weight to get to my 200 pounds. Never ending bulk. Now, to be fair, I work out a lot. I'm a very active person. I like to work out in the mornings. Sometimes I'll do two a days. I'll work out at night and I'll do a lot of cardio. I like to play basketball. I like to run. So there's a lot of cardio that I do 
for fun, that I enjoy. In other words, I'm very active and therefore I've always been in this never ending bulk on top of me being a hard gainer. So boys, what I'm telling you now is if you want to get thick, you follow these rules, I'm telling you, I'm helping you out, bro. See you next time.